podcast not everyone's cup of tea to consume an entire podcast that's why welcome to the ranvi shows highlights channel drs clips subscribe and hit that bell icon 3 days ago i had to go to um, the kapil sharma show huh. and i thought that got them more excited than the idea that i've actually made a film over 2 years and they're like oh movie make and like kapil you're going to kapil sharma show and i'm like Yeah, but I also made a film, you know. What What's the experience of Kapil Sharma show? Oh man! So listen, I, I honestly I had I hadn't really followed um, the whole show, and I, I'd heard it was funny, and people were like, "Oh, lowbrow and whatever." I don't care. The thing is, I'd been shooting for the last whatever year and a half, been trying to finish this film, and I've had all this kind of wait. Oh, and what I'd done is I just delivered the film like four days ago, and then the next day I was feeling like, "Oh shit!" Like I was still waking up with the weight of the film. I went there with literally no expectations, and then I started to laugh, and then I started to just laugh more. Mm-hmm. And by the end of it, I realized I'd forgotten about my film. Also, it's Kapil Show. He wasn't really talking about the film. We were mm-hmm. talking. He was talking. He was doing his skits. He was doing his thing. So I forgot about the film. And for the first time in a year and a half, I think those two hours I forgot about the film, and I was just laughing. and when i left that place i was like dude i'd pay to be in the audience to just yeah. watch this uh you know because when i went home i slept and i woke up at 10 the next morning which hadn't happened for 2 years i've been waking up at 6:37 with the with the you know the whole anxiety of of making a film so yeah i think in some way uh, he healed me that night with his humor <laughs> i mean i genuinely don't know how funny it would be when it comes out but as i said i think i just tuned into it and i was telling uh, you know ananya and dipika that i feel like maybe there was something in the air maybe they you know like how in casinos they pump oxygen in the air to you for you to keep up maybe they put like helium or something i don't know i was tripping you know i was having a great time so yeah i got i'd gone for a meditation seminar once where the mirrors do this laughing meditation who there's this one course mm-hmm. i'd done it was a reiki course mm-hmm. and it's a 3 day seminar and the second day they just make you close your eyes and they begin a tape with like monkeys laughing then the instructor starts laughing and if you're really in sync with it because it's a guided meditation even you start laughing and everyone yeah. just laughs for like an hour wow so laughing is one of those things that spreads yeah but speaking about this man kapil sharma dude media industry cuz i have so much respect for everything he's built out yeah like how do you build something like that how do you sustain for mm. like more than 10 years yeah uh what's his vibe like like yeah. when you see him up close when you see him doing his thing yeah. uh what's he like in his flow i think uh what's so fascinating is that there's a lot of thought that has gone into it even though it feels so impromptu and on the go you realize that he he, he there is a structure in his mm. which is very clearly drawn out on the page so as as fluid as it seems you realize that his humor there's a lot of effort to make it that fluid there's a lot of prep that has gone in for for them to be able to improvise and that mm. that's what i've always felt even about acting what do you mean what do you mean prep for them to improvise i think um, uh, improvise as a term is taken extremely lightly even in films uh, and that's something i even you know picked up uh, when when um, uh, scorsese speaks about taxi driver and how everyone thinks it's an improvised film and de niro improvised but what it needs is for you to do all the hard work beforehand so you have a blueprint you've done the groundwork so on the day you don't have to feel that pressure mm. and then on the day you have the freedom to explore mm. and that's exactly how i feel about on set acting which is unless you haven't done the read if you if you've not done the readings if you've not done the groundwork of who are these characters what are they really going for in this scene uh, you know how you uh, how how you feel about what's the energy of this scene how is going how does it need to feel once you've done all the groundwork then on the day you have lot more scope because you know one version of it that you've already prepped so then you're like i know this mm. and i know i have an hour so let's try it this way mm. oh where do you want to be you want to stand there let's try it that way oh the camera doesn't have to do this let's try mm. it here because you've done all the prep it's not that you're doing it because you don't know what it is mm. you're doing it because you know one version of it already mm. so now you're like let's try the other one Let's try the other one. You know, would you say this same thing is this guy's strength, Kapil Sharma? Sir, he's always prepared. Yeah, I think he's is extremely prepped, and and there is, as I said, a structure to for him to know that the flow is going to work. But how do you become funny within structure? That's talent. Is that God gifted talent, according to you? I I think if you didn't have structure, you wouldn't be able to 
stay funny for long enough because at some point it starts to go off. Okay. And th- that's the same thing. I think he's aware, and I I do the same on set sometimes, which is he's aware if he if he shoots ten things, two will not work. 